Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here with a mute review. And you can see I have got here Yamaha Silent Brass. And one nice thing about this, I will say, it fits almost completely in the bell. So if you're carrying this, um, all you'd have to do is put this in the um, bell of your trumpet. Uh, sometimes I've really felt that that reinforcement from the inside is not a bad thing to have anyway. Uh, please don't hold me responsible if you do it and your horn crunches. Seems to me like it would, it would definitely be a help. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do, and this stresses my technical ability, which obviously isn't a whole lot. I'm gonna try and uh, show you how this sounds with a live mic, um, and then I'm gonna show how it sounds if you were wearing the headphones that come with this. So I'm gonna take everything through my speaker, but um, for your family members, this is what they would hear if you're um, playing your silent mute. And I'm gonna turn off my speaking mic because it's extremely uh, sensitive. But you'll, I'll, I'll play without the mute, then with the mute again. Okay, and if you did not have the mute in, here's what they would have heard. And again, with the mute going in. Now, I'm going to play what you would hear. That's what you're hearing inside the headphones. It really does um, import a nice sound. Now, mutes have back pressure. The more silent they are, the more back pressure there is. But I think Yamaha's thrust with this is when you can hear uh, the sound coming out, even though there is back pressure on the horn, your ears are picking up volume. You don't fight against that back pressure as much. Uh, and for different people, it works quite well, and for others, not so much, but at least you've got a silent mute. Okay, now I'm gonna do one other thing. This uh, Yamaha system, um, I've got the mute in, so this cord is going into the little piece that they have, which I just can't lift up at the moment, but I will when we're through, uh, getting close to through. Then there's also an auxiliary in. So I've got a song queued up on my computer, I'm going to play into the system, and so I'll be able to hear my trumpet and the music in my headphones, but you're gonna be able to hear it as well. And so this is uh, what some people like about practicing. Um, it's, it's really not a bad setup. I've got this song queued up because it's got a hugely long intro, but it's simply what a friend we have in Jesus. Now, the one thing is this does throw your intonation off a little bit. You can see how far I've got the tuning slide pulled. I've got it pulled about an inch. I usually have it about a quarter of an inch pulled. But uh, anyway, we'll get the music going and then we will uh, just let you hear what the trumpet sounds like. All of this is going through the silent brass system, so you'd be hearing this just uh, normally.
Okay, that's what it sounds like. Not a bad setup. Um, I was uh, checking it out a few days ago. I've got a little uh, Dolby oh, measurement uh, app on my phone, of course, which I'm using to record, so I can't uh, use it right now. But when you play the trumpet about this distance from the phone, you get uh, right between 90 and 100 decibels. When you put this mute in, you get uh, about 60 to 65 decibels. However, I was actually in a car at the time, and um, just perfectly silent, it's at 30 decibels because we live in a loud world. There's always something going on, you know, road noise, uh, whatever the car was off, incidentally. So um, anyway, I hope that's uh, beneficial, gives you an idea how quiet it is for people that are sitting around you, but how um, fulfilling it can be in your ears. Oh, one other thing I did want to do. This particular one has got... Um, Mm. It's got two different sounds. One of them has a little bit more um, reverb, which I like. And sound number one. It's just flat, no reverb, and we'll go to sound number two again. Yeah, I definitely like the reverb better. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, try and unplug at least part of this stuff so we can uh, show you what we're looking at. Okay. All right. Here is our setup. First of all, you've got this plug here, which goes into the headphones. And I was playing that into my sound system so you could hear exactly what it sounded like. This uh, other one is for the auxiliary in, so it's actually playing from my computer into the system, and so it would go into the headphones. And the third cord is the one that plugs into the um, mute itself. Now, you can play this without um, this apparatus, and it's just very quiet. In fact, I guess I can show you what that sounds like, since the mute's not plugged in right now. All right, hope that helps you out. Again, this is the uh, Yamaha Silent Brass System. Now they do have, they've got several of these out. This one is the, hmm, well, I don't have my glasses on. I can't tell you which one it is. This one is this one. <laughs> I'll make a note at, uh, Oh, how do we get that? I'll make a note on the uh, YouTube video which model this is. But um, what is it? The personal studio model. Hmm. There's some fine details there, but I'll uh, make sure we get this up. Very interesting system. Of course, you're, uh, you're corded up, so you won't be bebopping all over the house with reckless abandon, especially if you've got music piped in. But uh, again, do hope this is uh, beneficial to those in the trumpet and cornet world. Take care, and as always, God bless.